Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up actions for your Air Agent. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your agents and find one that you want to add an action to. And if you don't know what an action is, it's basically a command that the AI gives to another platform that it connects to through API. So it can connect to a lot of platforms. It can connect to Go High Level, it can connect to Make, it can connect to Zapier. So it will connect to these kinds of platforms and it will send a message to this platform to perform an action with a different platform. For So for example, an air agent might tell Zapier to send a message to the prospect that it's on the phone with at the current moment with a link to book a call with somebody or a link with more information or a link with a payment, a payment link or a DocuSign link. So it, it's a command that allows the air agent to perform human-like tasks while on call with the prospect. So once you're at the agent that you want to add the action to, you're going to go over here and press add an action. So you can watch the quick tutorial, but I'll explain more in depth. So this would probably be a better tutorial for you guys. And then you can press set up action. So you're going to press create new, and then you're going to name the action. So the name, this does not really matter, but you want to make it something that describes the action so that you can keep everything organized. Cause in the future, you're probably going to have a lot of different kinds of actions. So for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use the example, or you know what? I'm going to do this book, a call link. Now the tells Zapier to trigger this action when air agent says something like, so what this means is when your air agent says something along the lines of whatever you put here, it will then trigger the action. So for example, here, if I put, I will send the link over now so you can book a call. I'm going to copy that. If I put this, whenever my air agent says this exactly or something that's similar to this or along the lines of this, because it goes based off meaning, not keywords, as I explained in the last video. So when it says something along the lines of this, it will then perform the action of setting that link to the prospect's number. So we're going to press save action. And then you want to make sure whatever you put down here in that bottom part. So this is good. So now you can create another action if you want, or you can just click out of this. So you want to make sure whatever you put in that bottom space, you have it somewhere in your script. Otherwise it, it won't say it unless it's in your script and then nothing will be triggered. So at the end here, I'm going to say, I didn't read over the script. So I don't know if this makes sense exactly, but I'm just going to, oops. Let me, so I'm going to put that right there. Let me remove this. Move my camera up. Perfect. So now at the end of the call, it's going to say, I will send the link over now so you can book a call. Right now, obviously, I'd make it sound a little better. Maybe I'd say, I'll send the link over now so you can book a call uh, for later. And because this still is similar to what I put in the action, it will work. So then I'm going to go back to this action and I'm going to copy this top part. And we're going to go over to Zapier or Maker, High Level, or whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Zapier. That's what I recommend for now. So you're going to go to Zapier. You're going to press Create New Zap. Then you're going to press Trigger. And you're going to press Create Webhook. So start a webhook. An event, so then you're gonna do catch webhook, continue, click off, uh, then you're gonna do continue. Perfect, so now you're gonna press copy, you're gonna go back to air, you're gonna press on your profile and press integrations, and you're gonna go to Zapier webhook URL, and you're gonna paste that right there. You're gonna press save. Perfect, so now you can go back here. And back to Zapier. So now you're going to press uh, on the action. And you're going to set up a path. So you're going to have paths. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to perform multiple actions within this one zap. Because this webhook is connected to air. Not the other webhooks. Which means only this zap is connected to air. So every action you want the agent to do has to be within the zap. And that's why we do paths. So you can have unlimited actions by just pressing add path, add path, add path until you have as many as you want. 
So for the sake of this, I'm going to delete these just so we can focus on one. Okay, so when you're here, you're going to have to test this integration. So how you do that is you go back to air, you're going to press new agent, you're going to press uh, other, whatever, advanced, uh, create from scratch. Perfect. Now you're going to delete all this and you're going to press type and you're going to go type out this. Type out. Okay. Hey, Joey. Type out. I will send the link over now so you can book a call. Awesome. So you heard it say the action phrase. So now we're going to go back to Zapier and test trigger. As you can see, it picked up everything. So now we're going to go back to this path and we're going to press choose field and we're going to say action. So book a call link. That was the action title. And we're going to say exactly matches. Then we're going to say this one again and then continue oh excuse me we're gonna say exactly matches and we're gonna go back here right we're gonna go back here and we're gonna copy this and then put just that text in and then continue perfect so now we're gonna go to the action and this can be anything you want. In this case, I'm going to do Gmail. So now we can go through here, choose an event, and we'll say send email. Continue. So now you connect the Gmail account, you make your email, you connect everything. If you don't know how to use Zapier itself, you can look up a separate YouTube tutorial on that. But for now, I'm not going to go into it. You can add any action you want. As you probably know, Xavier connects to over 5,000 different applications. So that action phrase can trigger all sorts and all kinds of varieties of things. It can be anything that you have in mind. There is so many applications through Xavier, and that's why I love using it. Once you've done that, you can go through and you can add more actions. Like I said, you just create a new path. Every time you do this, you're going to have to retest it. So you're going to have to call yourself again and test that action order for Xavier to make sure that it's working and confirm the action. And once you have everything you want, I'd run it through one more time. Make sure that you are getting all the emails, you're getting all the texts, you're getting anything that you set up through Zapier to make sure it works before you send it out in a campaign to hundreds or thousands of other people. Because if one little link is broken and it's not sending correctly, that can ruin the entire campaign and you could end up spending a lot of money that you didn't need to spend. Once you've done that, I'd go through the entire call and act like you're a prospect just so you can do that final, final test and make sure that there's no problems in the connection with Zapier. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Once again, if you want to get a free advanced air account with priority calling queue, priority air support, open AI, early access to new features, dedicated servers, and a whole lot more, you can go over to my website or into the link that I'm going to put in the description and you can get that free account. It looks the the same. It looks exactly the same as an Air account. It is the same. It's through the exact same website and platform, but the accounts are very different. You're going to have access to a lot of cool features that other people will not have access to, and it also helps me out. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.